everyone. Uh, welcome to our mind education class. Uh, last time we spoke about uh, the Aomori Bay. Uh, we are continuously talking about mind education as the education to learn how to move your heart. And in this lecture also, I'll speak about uh, the Aomori. Uh, in the last lecture, I introduced you Aomori as a bay uh, that is found in Japan. In 1991, they faced the biggest uh, storm. And in this storm, uh, Aomori as a bay is very famous in terms of, uh, on, I mean, apple uh, production. So they are, were very much affected and severely affected because of uh, this storm. Two thirds of all the produce was swept and it was uh, down even before it was ripe. So all the two thirds of all the produce of the apple had fallen onto the ground. So there was despair, there was sadness among the farmers because they only rely on the apple farming. Most of the farmers, actually they fell into trials and also they became uh, very depressed. But during the process of uh, uh, this, there was one farmer who had a totally different mind. So as they were focusing on the ground, they gained a lot of sadness, they gained a lot of pain. But this one farmer, he said, why are we continuously looking up, uh, looking down onto the fruits that are falling down? Why don't we tilt and focus our eyes onto the fruits that are still hanging on the tree? So many people could not be able to understand. Only one third, only one third of the total is still remaining on the tree. So what is the purpose of focusing on one third that is remaining on the tree? But this farmer explained it in this way. During that time, it was a period where they did the national exams. In Kenya, it's like the period as they do their uh, NDI exams like KCP, KCSE. During this period, this farmer said, we are remaining with one third. It means this one third has passed the exam of, of the storm. If, you able, if we are able to turn now this apple into a past apple, it means this Aomori apple has passed the exam. Which exam? The exam of the storm. Then they labeled all these apples that remained on the tree, they labeled them Aomori past apple. Then when they labeled this uh, apples and took them into the market. Now they uh, made the price of these apples to be 10 times. In normal price, even in Kenya, it's just 20, 30 shillings. So 10 times of the price now is at 300 shillings. But during, because this period was the period of exams, for parents to wish uh, good luck to their student or to their uh, children to go and sit for the exam, they made them to uh, buy these apples and take them to the student in school. So they advertised this as a Aomori past apple. If you take this fruit, just like this fruit has passed the exam, even your child will pass the exam. So which parent will not buy this apple that is able to make their children to pass the exam? So when they were able to do this, now they raised this price 10 times and they were able to make three times more the profit that they make in all the other years that they were selling the apples. From that day on, these apples of Aomori became Aomori past apples even until today. They use the same slogan to sell, and all the apples that come from Aomori Bill until now, they are the most expensive. Just because of this situation that had forced despair and sadness to them, through the mindset of one farmer, he was able to overturn and change it for them to be able to uh, live this uh, kind of life of prosperity. So mindset is not only about changing yourself. When it is change, you change your mindset, this mindset is able to affect or positively affect the people around you. Mind, we can call it, is like a blueprint of our life. When you want to change life, you have to change the blueprint of your mind. So change of mind automatically changes the whole life. 
if you see the structure of a building, behind that uh, structure of building, there is a blueprint. Even before you see the actual building, if you see the blueprint, you can be able to see, ah, this is a 10-story building, this is a 3-story building, even before it has been constructed. So in the first lecture, when I spoke about mindset as a path, according to which path that you are standing on, this path will lead you to success, this path will lead you to failure. This path will lead you to happiness, this path will lead you to sadness. So many people without understanding about the world of the heart, they live accepting the thoughts, they live accepting the kind of situation that they are in each and every moment. I love uh, mind education because it explores uh, deeper and deeper into the world of my mind. When you learn about mind education, then you can be able to learn. is a, a change. It's like a management of your mind. For you to be able to manage or to train your mind, there are uh, these like nine basic components that you need to learn. Through the, form, the lectures that proceed after this, we'll be discussing and also tackling them one by one. The first one is you have to open your heart. Open your heart means now you have to realize there is the world of the heart within you that is exist, and then you start exploring this world. Also, you have to now learn how to bend your heart. Bend your heart is to accept something that is different from what you think. Also, you have to make now a path or a direction where you want to change, where you want to know the world of your heart. Also, you need to feed your heart with many provisions. As you uh, listen to the mind lectures, I believe this one will be uh, tackled uh, through these lectures. Also, you'll be able to continue. You'll be able to learn how to continue overcoming the life of burdens and also overcoming them through uh, confronting and going over challenges. Also, you'll be able to now also to learn how to empty yourself. How can you be able to forsake the thought and accept other people's ideas, other people's uh, thoughts, and also learn from them? Also, you need to learn also how to deny yourself. Denying yourself means whether you are right, whether you are wrong, you are able to throw away that thought and also listen to others. Also, there's a component of conversation. Conversation is uh, you share your heart. Our found, uh, youth organization is International Youth Fellowship. We believe in fellowship because it's about sharing of your heart, speaking of your heart. Last but not least in terms of this, we say is to have faith. So having faith will be tackled in a different academy that we are calling the Bible study together with our youth pastor, with Pastor Joseph. Through that class, you'll be able to lead you and also guide you to learn about how to have faith or how can you be able to learn faith in the correct way. In this lecture, I will conclude it in this way. Mind is not static. Mind can be able to be moved. If you learn how to move your mind, if you learn how to move your heart, then you live the life that you never lived before. See you in the next class. Uh -huh.